replacing the outlet valve assembly. All valves in Hydrocell T-Series pumps are cartridge type spring-loaded check valves and replacing them is a relatively simple on-site procedure that can be carried out without removing the pump's liquid head or the associated pipework. Here we disassemble and reassemble the middle outlet valve but the others are replaced in the same way. Firstly, remove the four cap screws or the eye bolt and three remaining cap screws from the discharge retainer plate. The plate itself can then be removed but it will take a little leverage to accomplish this. The retainer plate comes away complete with the outlet valve port plug and associated backup ring and o-ring. Next, extract the outlet valve retainer which will release the outlet valve cartridge. If the valve cartridge releases from the cartridge retainer, thread the outlet valve extractor tool from the Wanna Toolkit onto the top of the valve spring retainer and use the lever arm to extract the valve cartridge from the manifold. Should the spring retainer release from the valve seat, fish the spring and valve disc from the bore and use the valve seat extractor provided in the Wanna Toolkit to remove the valve seat if necessary. In all stages of dismantling, check for wear or scale buildup and replace before reassembly. Reinstalling the cartridge outlet valve is an equally simple procedure. Ensure that the O-rings are lubricated and that the valve bore in the manifold is free from any foreign material. Place the new cartridge valve into the valve retainer. It's a push fit. And insert the assembly, noting that the top of the valve retainer is located centrally to fit into the respective hole in the valve port plug. Refit the discharge retainer plate complete with valve port plug, backup ring and o-ring and replace the cap screws tightening from opposing corners to opposing corners of the discharge retainer plates to a torque of 400 newton meters that's 300 foot pounds. Replacing the inlet valve assembly. Start by removing the eight bolts that hold the inlet retainer plate in position. Then gently lever off the inlet retainer plate, which will come away complete with the three inlet retainer plugs and their respective O-rings. All parts should be inspected for signs of wear and replaced if necessary, and any scale should be removed during the process. The three inlet check valve cartridges can then be removed using the check valve extraction tool that's included in the Wanna toolkit. At this stage, the diaphragms can be visually inspected through the inlet ports with the use of a light. The reassembly is equally simple. Start by reinstalling the three inlet check valve cartridges by hand ensuring that they seat properly. Lubricate all O-rings and backup rings and ensure the valve bore and retainer bore are clean and free of foreign material. Then reinstall the inlet retainer plate complete with inlet retainer plugs and O-rings. Hand thread the eight bolts to hold the retainer plate in position and tighten from inner to outer to a torque of 400 newton meters that's 300 foot-pounds. Replacing diaphragms. With T-Series hydrocell pumps, diaphragms can be replaced in the field. But it is important to understand that a ruptured diaphragm generally indicates a pumping system problem, and replacing only the diaphragm will not solve the larger problem. To replace a diaphragm, first disconnect the piping and drain the pump of oil. Slacken the eight hex nuts from the manifold studs and remove the four outer ones from the studs with the threaded holes in them. Then remove the eight bolts holding the inlet retainer plate in position. 
Next, screw the four extender studs from the tool kit into the threaded holes of the outer studs and tighten with a spanner. After removing the remaining four nuts from the manifold studs, the complete manifold can be removed by carefully sliding it along the extender studs. The manifold and assembly weighs over 90 kilos, 200 pounds, yet it is easy to maneuver on the extended studs. Sliding the manifold away gives access to the diaphragms. Simply remove the two M6 diaphragm follower screws that hold the oval diaphragms in place and they can be removed from the diaphragm clamp plate for inspection or replacement. To reinstall a diaphragm, start by applying a little thread lock adhesive to the M6 diaphragm follower screws. Offer up the diaphragm and ensure that the diaphragm bead is fully seated into the square groove of the diaphragm plate, then refit the two diaphragm follower screws to hold the diaphragms in place. Torque to 100 Newton meters, 75 foot pounds. Once done, the manifold can be slid back into place along the extender studs and the inner four hex nuts refitted to the protruding studs. The eight bolts that secure the inlet retainer plate can then be replaced and tightened in the prescribed order to a torque setting of 400 Newton meters, 300 foot pounds. Once this is secured, Remove the extender studs, replacing them with the hex nuts and tighten progressively in the appropriate order to a torque setting of 600 Newton meters, 450 foot pounds. After refitting the pipework and refilling the pump with new oil, the task is complete.